guys, we're Chad and Ashley, and this is our van. And if you haven't watched our videos before, we are full-time travelers, and today we are in Montana. We have been in Montana, if you watch, if you watch our last couple of videos. We're just north of Missoula. We stayed at the Great Wolf Peak Casino for the past two nights. The weather has been kind of bad, so we're kind of trying to wait it out because where we're going next is an outdoor activity, and I'm super excited. This is something that I would not expect to see in Montana. I actually saw a picture of it probably like two years ago, and I thought it was in Thailand. So I'm so happy it's here, and basically what it is, it's a, temp a Buddhist temple that has a thousand Buddha statues in the park and we're gonna go explore it so let's hit the road of a thousand Buddhas was created by Ewam, I think that's how you say it, it's E-W-A-M International. And it's basically a non-profit organization trying to build spiritual awareness and spread it throughout the West and all around the world. So they build places like this all around the world so people of every religion can come and walk around and learn a little bit about Buddhism. We had a nice one night stay at a Walmart in Polson, Montana. And uh, that was just a little bit north of our Buddhist temple. Now we're cruising along this lake. This is called Flathead Lake, Montana. Looks really nice. We heard from a local that there's actually camping all around this lake and you can actually see this lake from the Walmart footage also. But we haven't seen any camping, but we've heard that there's free camping dispersed around this lake, but it's not marked on any of the apps, and we haven't seen any yet. Either way, I don't think we're going to stay at it. We're heading up to the next town. It's called Columbia Falls. Actually, st 
still chasing down a little problem with this engine. It says it's running rich. So uh, we ordered a couple parts to the O'Reilly Auto Parts that's up there. And uh, we're gonna stop by there, pick up those parts, and then hopefully find a nice free camping spot to spend some time for Glacier National Park. That's our next big destination. So we're gonna keep driving up this lake, has some beautiful views, and then pick up some parts and hopefully find a nice free campsite. So let's go and do that. All right, quick stop here at the auto parts store. If you can see, that is O'Reilly Auto Parts in Columbia Falls, Montana. Grab two of these, Ford Motorcraft. Came to O'Reilly because they were one of the only stores that actually carried the Ford brand and I figured might as well do it. And they were actually the cheapest. <laughs> they were actually cheaper than the aftermarket ones. Picked up 202 sensors. I highly doubt they're gonna make any difference in anything, but I figured I'd go for it. They were like 35 bucks each, so why not? So I'm gonna install those once we get to our next campsite and the engine cools down because it'd be very hot to install them right now. Found a cool spot on iOverlander. It is not too far from the park entrance. Looks like maybe 10 miles from the entrance of Glacier National Park. It's right on a river and it looks like it's kind of a, a big area where a bunch of people can go in and camp. Pretty sure it's free and I think there's a three day limit. So we're gonna go check it out. It's almost 4th of July weekend, it's Thursday. So I'm hoping we beat the crowd in and get a good spot. So let's head on over that way. All right, made it to our campsite for Glacier National Park. <clears throat> it's this big open field here, bunch of campers. I'll show you a little more about that later. We actually couldn't go to the first couple spots that we planned on going to because the roads in were just way too rough to even get in there in this thing. But anyways, we got here, settled in. Gonna go into the park tomorrow. And uh, got the engine compartment opened up here. Already switched out the two sensors, forgot to record any of it. Here's the old ones. They actually looked, well, what was that actually? My imagination. They actually looked just fine. I was expecting these tips here to be really coated in black but it looks like anything that was on there was burned off anyway. So they're probably just fine. Two new ones are down in there. It was an easy install. Just here, I'll flip around the camera. They're just right there. On the exhaust, if you can get a peek at the sensor, there's one and there's the other. So it is a, was a little tight to get a wrench in there, but it was a quick repair, even if it doesn't do anything. Hopefully it makes some kind of difference. Kind of had to do it. Only cost about 70 bucks and got a couple codes from the engine saying that it was sensing the engine was rich, but it specifically mentioned the 202 sensors and said that they weren't switching fast enough. So hopefully that's actually the problem. So we will keep you guys updated next time we drive. Probably won't be in this video. Ashley, why don't you go show them around this campsite? All right, guys. So we were driving around we we're looking at spots that were marked on iOverlander to boondock and they weren't good um they're all full or the road was bad to get to the spot so we were kind of in a pickle and then next thing you know we're driving back to find another place and we passed this spot so there's a bunch of people here you can see Someone right here next to us over here. Our neighbors are right over there. And yeah, so we're gonna stay here and we're gonna try to stay here the whole time while we're in the park and just take the scooter in. But it's a great spot, very open. Nice view of the mountains back there. And yeah, so this is where we'll be. There's the RV <laughs> and there's Buddy. We might mark this on iOverlander for other people to come stay at if they'd like, um, but it is not marked there right now. Uh, maybe I can get Chad to show you this location on the screen here. And you are allowed to stay here for 16 days. A lot of times it's 14 days, but here it's 16. I thought that was a lot. Um, it is open. No, it's not really much privacy, but that's okay because we're going to be spending most of the time in the park. And when we are at the RV, we're just going to be pretty much lounging and hanging around inside. If anything, Buddy likes the open space, so he gets to enjoy that part. Well, that's where we're going to wrap this one up. 
and uh, if we included Glacier National Park in this video I think it would just be a little too long so we'll start up again tomorrow when we head into the park and we will catch up with you then don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and thanks for watching